Welcome to Streaming the Legs. My name is Mr. Orange, the best of 2019, the best of the class of 2019 on Steam. Yeah, this video is all about the best games of 2019. And why I'm why am I making this video now on the the 2nd of January in 2020? I make it for this reason that we just remember what games can came out and can come out and uh, also in the future now in this year will come out so i'm not making a video about the like, upcoming games now in 2020 so it's it's a bit it's a bit difficult because you mostly don't know if games are really coming out and i've seen a lot of those videos on on youtube where people say yeah this game comes out and in the end it doesn't come out so it's just an uh, a mix of different trailers of, of awesome games but this is not what my video is all about so yeah my friends i hope you had a, a wonderful uh, new year's Eve, I hope you, you enjoyed uh, 2019 as much as I did when it comes to games. Uh, for, for me it was an incredible year. I, I finally really started being a bit more successful with my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, of course, if you, if you enjoy my, my content, uh, leave me a subscription and a like to this video. And yeah, I'm continuing this year. I will continue this year with my YouTube channel. I have so much fun with it. So I don't do it for for being paid or something. I mean, you know, I'm not earning anything. But uh, but the thing is, I love bringing you this content. I love talking about games. It's one of my greatest hobbies and it's just so much fun. All right, so I would say, my friends, now that we jump into the best of 2019. So we have now here on the Steam Store page uh, five different categories. And uh, I will go through those categories uh, very quickly, not to lose too much of your time, but uh, just enough to give you a nice overview. Of course, as always, you see the games that are with this blue in library, that those are the games that I own, so I can talk or say a little bit more about them. So top sellers, the top 100 games as measured by cross revenue this year. So this is how much these games were making, uh, the publishers. And uh, let's see, which is very cool to see, it's actually Warframe, it's still CSGO. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 6, still old games on Elder Scrolls Online, so those games are still a kind of a cash cow and make money. And also Destiny 2, which was actually coming as a free-to-play game, was also successful. I mean, that's that's an interesting point, I would say. And uh, from all of those uh, Seasons Pass, Battle Pass games, one game actually needs to be highlighted. And this is Sekiro Shadows Die Twice by Activision, published by Activision, this new Souls-like game. It's at the moment 35% uh, still on sale, so check it out. So I, I think... I don't have it yet, so I always was waiting for a better sale. Sale was not coming, so I'm, I guess I'm still waiting, but at one point I will purchase it. So I'm very happy that this game was so successful on Steam. Then on Gold, and that's interesting, Jedi Fallen Order only on Gold and Resident Evil 2 also only in Gold. But then at the same time we have The Witcher Wild Hunt also there and Halo. Uh, of course those Jedi was also coming on other platforms, Resident Evil also came on other platforms, and The Witcher, uh, I mean, that's an all-time classic, that's pretty amazing. Then also games like, like Rocket League or Path Exile, which is actually a free-to-play game with, with DLCs, also still, still, still on gold, pretty cool. Then Mortar on uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Devil May Cry is maybe also interesting in this point. And then on Silver, <laughs> Look at this, my friends. The Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually officially uh, was not successful on Steam. So, I mean, this is a game of this caliber, only silver on Steam. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's not good enough. And then Remnant uh, got a lot of good critics, but, but in the end was also not so successful. Then I'm happy to see Risk of Rain 2. Uh, very interesting also to see War Thunder here at silver. Also pretty cool planet, so also interesting game. And then another uh, Souls-like game, Code V. So cool, cool to see this game there. Then we have Bronson, that's Jurassic Park, a game that I enjoyed a lot and for 80% down, I can absolutely recommend it. Then we see Age of Empires 2, the definitive edition. I also purchased it, I love Age of Empires. Astroneer is interesting to see there. And uh, the Tomb Raider, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it was also not very successful also 
also only Bronze hmm, could have been better. I mean, even Stark Souls 3 of the Forest and No Man's Skies are still there. No Man's Skies got some very nice updates, so I'm happy to see that they're still here in this list. Kingdom Come, Deliverance, Grim Dawn, Subnautica, actually also not successful. And yeah, and Gears 5 was also a not so successful game if you if you compare it to the other games here. Greedfall, Frostpunk, Frostpunk, that's a game I definitely want to buy. And I'm waiting for a sale on Beat Saber since ages, but I don't know when it's coming. I just continue waiting, waiting, waiting. Then Hunt Showdown finally got released this year, so therefore it's only uh, at, at process, so maybe it would be much better. And that what wow, what is very cool. I mean Cyberpunk is even there and the game is not out yet. So <laughs> very very cool. Alright, so that's the the top sellers. Then top new releases, I think that's a very interesting uh uh, the top games released in 2019 as measured by cross revenue following the release and that's a very nice list so we have it from month to month and I absolutely recommend you to, to go through this list you will find games that you most probably missed out during this year and they are, even some of those games are still on sale so you will definitely enjoy this yeah so the top releases well, we talked already about those games here. Then in January, I want to highlight Desolate, 70% down, it's, which is actually really good. So it's now mostly positive. That's a game on my list. Pray for the Goods also got a good release, also very positive now. That's uh, where I'm happy to see it. The price is a bit high and Resident Evil 2, as uh, as mentioned before. And then another game that was, uh, was an interesting release was Bright Memory. Uh, this was uh, just the first uh, episode of, of a greater game, so this could become very cool. Then Slay of Speyer, I got for re review purposes, haven't played it yet. I have to play it and make a review video about this, but that seems also to be very cool. So, and then we are in February. In February, some other interesting games came out, like Foundation, a city building game, uh, Dirt Rally 2 came out. I actually didn't really enjoy Dirt Rally 2 so much because there's a big issue with the DLC, so just way too many DLCs. Jakuza came out, Kiwami, I think it's a new Jakuza, not a remake. Then a game I can absolutely recommend is 19 for military hacking uh, division game. I also got for review purposes, have to make a video about this, uh, but I haven't done it yet. Absolutely cool, best hacking game out there. The Metro Exodus came also out and then the whole scandal with uh, time exclusive games was epic started and then East Shade also an interesting game. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Metro Exodus when it then actually comes out again and then also for a cheaper price on Steam. But you can get it now for like 20, 20 or 10 euros dollars on, on uh, with the epic coupon uh, I have to check again I forgot it then in March uh, a very cool game generation zero came out which has some old-school gameplay but the atmosphere is fantastic Baba is you definitely a surprising hit risk of rain 2 also a very cool game devil may cry 5 was uh, disappointing for me for me personally and unheard was also very fun so I got it for review purposes and made a video about this then in April came out Mordhau, a popular successor of Chivalry. Then Taps came out, also a cool game that was recently free on Epic Gamester. Uh, Pathway came out, it was, was okay, was okay. I uh, received it for review purposes. Fate to Silence as well, received it for review purposes. Uh, a game I, I have to play some more because actually I really enjoyed it. Katana Zero came out, which was definitely an overwhelming positive game. I haven't bought it yet, so my, maybe I should check it out now for this price. And then Forager, I love this game. I totally love this game. This was so awesome. I got it for review purposes and this is a game, a must buy. For 16 years, a must buy. And then we saw a new installment of Mortal Kombat. Oh, love them. And then in May, Beat Saber. Oh my God, in May? Yeah, it came out of early access. So Beat Saber out of early access. Layers of Fear 2 came out. Swag and the Sorcery also a very cool game. Got for review purposes. Very cool game. I enjoyed it a lot. And Rise of Industry also got for review purposes. Was a very cool game as well. And Conan the Conqueror also a cool game. Rage 2 came actually out, which is a really good game. So in my personal opinion, one of the most underrated games. Chaos Bane is a cool game. I I finished it uh, with one character during the free weekend, so I enjoyed it also a lot. Xer Survival, ah, uh, it's a bit difficult. So it's not a bad game, but uh, uh, it's yeah. 
I kind of enjoyed it. So. And then Void Bastard is definitely a very, very cool game I got for review purposes as well. And The Plague of Tale Innocence, that's the next game I'm going to play now with uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision. I install a mod and that's going to be awesome. Yeah, and then here, <laughs> the three Total War Three Kings came out. How could I forget this game? I mean, a lot of fans love this. Then in June, They Are Billions came out in June, which was a really, really successful uh, game. And my friend Pedro, also a successful game, up to Octopath Traveler, Hell Let Loose also came out. And then we had Ring of Elysium finally coming out, a game from Tencent, China. Uh, also an interesting, cool game and Bloodstained. So. Then in July, what did we have in July that is worth mentioning? Definitely Wolfenstein Young Blood, a game that was so beaten up. I don't understand it. I loved it. I played it 100%. I loved it so much. It's one of my best, my most favorite first person shooters ever made. So I don't understand why people didn't like it. Good Hood finally came out, oh, only mixed reviews. So yeah, July was a bit then. A bit calmer than Swords and Souls Never Seen came out, also interesting game. Then in August uh, we had the Blair Witch Project game coming out finally. I and Fury I got for review purposes, also a very, very cool game. Haven't done my video yet about this. Then the Dark Picture Anthology came out. That's from the makers of Until Dawn that was exclusive for PlayStation. Then Hunt Showdown was finally released, an absolutely fantastic survival uh, battle royale title. And we had the Remnant coming also out from the Ashes. was kind of successful for... for yeah, it was kind of a successful game, I would say. And then Undermine, Planet for Red, Red, nah. They, they actually uh, banned my video on YouTube, so Red sucks. <laughs> and then September, Children of Mortar coming out. Very cool game, Gears of Five. It's so funny that this game this is so underrated. Oh, not underrated, sorry to say. It, it was not, I, I haven't played it yet. I'm not really, I, I'm, I will not buy it now. I, I think I get it someday for five years. Flots, a very, very cool game. Creedfall came out, looks fantastic, atmospheric, but the gameplay seems to be not so good. Code Vein uh, came out, very cool game. Neute, I love it. Cool game. And Search 2, Nino Kuni 2. Oh my God, September was an amazing time uh, with Blasphemers. I played the demo, made a video about this. Fantastic. And October finally Destiny 2 came to Steam. Pine also a very great game I got for review purposes. And then uh, Chernobyl Light came out, Disco Elysium came out, uh, Trine 4 came out, also a very, very cool game and definitely a game to be mentioned in Divisible. So Destiny 2 was the October game. I loved it. I played it a lot. Terminator Resistance, a surprisingly good game coming out in November. I haven't played it yet, to be honest, but uh, it's for my personal taste a little bit too expensive now. Then Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition finally came out. And then the great, amazing game, Star Wars Jedi Fallen, of course, came also in November. And then in December, finally, Hades came came from uh, Epic Game Store and what is really more amazing, the best VR game uh, to date, Boneworks was coming out and it's still 25 years, so this is a VR game you have to purchase if you love VR games. And then Red Dead, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 finally also came out in December. And GT, uh, get the fuck out of here. And Ashen came out, and which is also Sayanoa Wild Hearts, very interesting game. Last year, Day of Dragons, cool, cool games. So those are the games, the top new releases. And then very quickly we go to the We Are best-selling games. So uh, I have to mention, of course, uh, Pavlov, Arizona Sunshine, Boneworks, Blade and Sorcery, Skyrim VR, Fallout VR, Beat Saber, so Zero Calibre, all of those games are awesome, especially those that I uh, played. Yet Zero Calibre I played, but I don't have it in my library. Super hot, I know the normal version, so I'm sure the VR version is also amazing. Then from the gold, uh, Sirento, Contractors is one of my favorite shooters, and Alex, uh, which is coming out in March, uh, the new Half-Life, absolutely amazing. I can t only recommend this. Onward, yeah, the classic. I mean, they started uh, making a first-person shooter in VR, uh, what they are today, so absolutely cool. Tilt Brush, uh, Doom, Doom v VFR, Raw Data, of course. Um, yeah, those games <laughs> are absolutely worth mentioning. Then we have the Bronze. Then we have definitely a little bit less interesting games, to be honest. So a lot of games. Ah, VR Paradise, I, I can only recommend this. Oops. I can absolutely only recommend this. Duck Season, a game I wanted to purchase yet. War 
dust also. The games need to become a little bit cheaper. Eleven Table Tennis is one of my absolutely favorite games. It was uh, it's the best table tennis VR game I have ever played. Uh, Batman Ar Arkham VR is also very good. Can recommend this. Then we have Dead Effect 2 VR, also in a fantastic VR game. Then Borderlands 2 VR. I don't really know how good it is. Is it good? Is it not good? I haven't played yet. People didn't like it. I, I have to check some videos. Then Aspire uh, VR Operative, also a very cool game I got for review purposes. I have to make a video about this. Very, very, very cool. Top releases, yeah. So those are the top releases of 2010. And then we have top early credits from early access. <laughs> Yeah, there, Hunt Definitive, Slade Aspire, Beat Saber, definitely two. They are Billions, Ring of Elysium, and Astrony, Porter, maybe two. Rise of Re Rise of Industry, very cool. Uh, and then yeah, the other games here I haven't played yet, so I can't really say if they are good. So Desolate is really interesting me. Iron Fury is great. Tallenberg, uh, I, I, I really like the the previous title. This was actually really fun. Fate to Silence, as I said, is, is an interesting title I actually have in my library. It's not showing here. And then we have the most simultaneous players, my friends. That's cool. Over 100,000 simultaneous players. Secure. Destiny 2 and The Witcher actually now too. <laughs> yeah, and then the classics and over 50,000. So only Red Dead Redemption 2. My god, what a bummer. Risk of Rain, great. Mortar, Resident Evil 2, absolutely cool. I just finished Resident Evil 2 uh, yesterday uh, in, with NVIDIA 3D Vision Stairs Copy Gaming. It was fantastic. I really loved it. And then here we have 25,000 simultaneous players. So it's getting a bit less. Actually, only Star Wars Jedi Fallen, only 25,000 players on Steam. That's not a m much, but you can get it just cheaper on Origin or on other platforms. That's just the reason than the, the old, the classics. So, of course, you will find games. So, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video best of 2019. So, if you yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, a like, and a subscription to the channel, or comment something down below in this video. Yeah, whatever you want to comment. So, I mostly respond on every each and comment. So, I love the interaction with the community. And uh, I'm leaving it here. And see you in 2020, or we are already in 2020. So. Yeah, let's stop this year and have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye.